Good morning. Happy Thursday. Really is Thursday this time. And like yesterday, which was Wednesday, when I said happy Thursday. Wishful thinking. I'll wait for a few people to come online. Do, do, do. Mm -hmm. oh, there we go. It's always the worst part waiting for people to come online. You think, will people actually come online? Will it actually be seen? I hope you are all well this morning. Give me a hello in the comments or a thumbs up or a heart so let, let me know you're there. It's a bit chillier this morning that's for sure but we'll get get a good warm up doing the workout so that's good. Oh there we go it's better. Um, good morning Jim. So just a reminder make sure the work floor's clear so you don't fall over anything. Uh, window open. Uh, good morning, Lynn. <laughs> Kiwi! <laughs> Love it. Morning, Aswin. And good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, window open, but it might not need to be as open as much today. It's a little bit cooler. Make sure you've still got some water nearby. Um, if it's anyone's first time joining the workouts, it's about 40 minutes in total. Good morning, Michelle. With a warm up and a cool down, and the main section is 20 minutes. And today it's a body weight workout. We've got five exercises. We'll spend 50 seconds on each exercise and then we've got 10 seconds rest. It's not really rest, transition to the next exercise. And we'll go through that circuit four times. So there we go, eight o'clock. We'll start with the warm up. About 30 seconds on each one of these movements just to wake the body up. Good morning, Philip. So stepping from side to side. Uh, waking up the muscles and the joints, preparing them for the workout ahead. So how is everyone feeling this uh, slightly overcast grey Thursday? <laughs> Hopefully this will get your day off to a good start. And I do have a lunchtime session today at 12.30. And then that's the last session of the week this week. Bring your arms above your head and mind any low light fittings because I am taking a couple of days off and I won't be back till Tuesday. So there are all the replays for you to enjoy though. So you don't have to, don't have to not have a workout tomorrow. Keep going, last few seconds. Sit. Go and then come, uh, oh, there we go. So again, feet are shoulder width apart, take the arms out at shoulder height, drop the shoulders and open up the chest. Keep going. Excuse me. <clears throat> I'm looking forward to not having put my alarm on for a day or two. That would be nice. It's been a while. Go in, last few seconds. I think this is week nine with Decathlon. And let that relax again. Feet are shoulder width apart if or wider. You're going to keep your legs straight. You're going to twist to the side and walk down the outside of your leg. If you can reach the floor, great. If not, just walk across in the air, keeping the leg straight, and then back up the other side. So I think this is week nine. And I did it for two weeks on my own page, so yeah, 11 weeks. <laughs> Coming back. I did take Good Friday and Easter Monday off, but I still worked that weekend, so this time I'm not working the weekend either. And come across. And come up and face to the front into a gentle jog. Uh, if you have any injuries or knee problems, um, you can take the bounce out and just march this one through. Obviously, you've got to make these workouts fit to your fitness level. So that you challenge yourself, but don't risk injury. <laughs> Keep going. Last few seconds. Yeah. Almost there. And let that relax. Next, we're going to do hip openers. So bring your leg up and out to the side and back in. Oh, good. The video doesn't look as dark as yesterday's one. I don't know what happened with yesterday's one. 
I like I think <laughs> I think Facebook just likes to mess with my mind occasionally. Um, so if you hear any clicks and pops in your joints when you're doing any of these warm-up movements, as long as they're not painful, don't worry, it's fine. Obviously, if they're painful, please refrain or just take the movement lower and let that relax, come over, hands behind the back and flick your heels up again if you do have joint issues or you know, dodgy knees and take it to a step. You can always build up to the movement. Don't have to jump in there the right way. A few more seconds. Nice gentle landing on the ball of the foot. And let that relax. Feet shoulder width apart. We're going to step out into a lunge. 90 degrees in both knees and rotate over the leg bent out in front. So rotate and push back. Rotate and push back. Keep going. Last few seconds. And let that relax. Next, we're going to do the squat. So, feet shoulder width apart, sit back into your squat, come up and reach up. Come down and reach through. So, sitting back doesn't have to be a deep squat, just go as far as is comfortable, but you can feel it working. So, sitting back, knees behind toes. Keep going. Last few seconds. And let that relax, and then the final 30 seconds, we'll do jumping jacks, just to get the heart rate up. Mine's only like fittings. Again, if this, your knees don't like it, for any other reason, you can step it out. If you have any shoulder problems, don't bring your arms so high, or you can always crisscross them in front. Last few seconds. rest that one there so just to say again so we're going to be doing a body weight circuit workout 50 seconds on each exercise 10 seconds rest slash transition and we'll go around the circuit four times there's five exercises so I'll give a quick demonstration of each of the exercises and then we'll get stuck in so the first one's bicep extension so you want your feet shoulder width apart Engage the core, nice straight back. You bring your arms up here. So the forearm, forearm, the top of the arm is in line with the shoulder. Then take the forearms forward. As you turn, as you take your arm out, twist your hand face down, and then bring it in to touch your shoulder. And it is literally moving from there using the bicep. And this, this tries to stay still. Next we have try switch lunges. So. This is where you're going to move your feet. You're going to go one, two, and as you go to the third one, you do a lunge. Again, one, two, and lunge. If that's too much, you can just do one, two, and then step into your lunge. One, two, and then step into your lunge. Or if you want to, you can just focus on the lunges, or you can focus on switching your feet. You know, as you, you know, practice, it will become easier. Then we're down on the floor, and we're doing hip raises. So with the hip raise, you're lifting your legs straight upwards, as it were. Imagine you're being lifted by your feet and you're lifting your hips off the floor, nice and controlled. Then we come over the other side. So into a nice high plank, uh, wrist in line with shoulders. If you need to, you can drop to your knees, but if you can do a full one, and then we're doing a tap to our shoulders. And then the final one is a high knees hard jog on the spot. Try and get your knees up high, but just keep moving on that last one. So if you have any music, now's the time to turn it on. And we'll get ready. First 50 seconds and off we go. So bicep extensions and off we go. 
you keep going. I'm just going to turn my volume up. I don't know why it's so low. There we go. So squeeze it out and in. Out and in. Keep breathing. Nice straight back. Soft knees. Out and in. Keep going. It does feel an unusual movement, but it does work. Keep the arms up. Keep going. Last few seconds. Ten seconds That's until it. Keep breathing. Keep that belly button pulled into the spine. And rest that one there. Ooh, shake the arms out. So the next one is the tri switch lunge. Tri switch lunge is a funny one for me. Some days I'm really good at it, some days not so much. And off we go. So one, two, three. One, two, three. You come down on the opposite leg. As I said, if that's too much, then you can do the switches and then step in your lunge. Or you can just focus on the lunges. Keep going. That's it, good. Keep breathing. It's a struggle to say. <laughs> Almost there. And rest that one there. We're down on the floor for the hip raises. Arms to the side, engage the core, push the small of your back to the floor, and we're lifting the hips. Nice and controlled. Keep breathing. Keep pulling the belly button in. Relax the shoulder and neck. Almost there. Ten seconds after this. Well, fifteen. I was being nice. <laughs> Ten seconds until rest. Five seconds. Keep going. And rest. rest Come on over. Ten seconds until work. We're into our high plank, so you want your wrists in line with your shoulders, nice and straight from neck to ankles. And if you can, then tap your shoulders and try and keep the body forward. Engage the core, try not let the body twist too much. Keep going. There. Almost there. Keep going. Ten seconds. Ten seconds until rest. Five seconds. Rest and rest that one seconds. there. Up to high knees. Get ready, and off we go. So get those knees up. Nice deep breaths. Keep breathing, keep smiling. Keep that core engaged, keep going. Seconds. Five seconds. And rest. So we're back to the bicep extensions. This one where we can catch our breath. Gauge the core, arms up. Work for 50 seconds. And out you go. 
keep those elbow in line with the shoulder. Just taking the forearms out. You could always do this with a light dumbbell. Really working your biceps. Keep going. Last few seconds. Keep breathing. Ten seconds until rest. Five seconds. And rest. So next we're into the try switch lunge. Get ready. And off we go. One, two, and three. One, two, three. One, two, and three. Keep going. Nice and controlled. If you do need to take out the bouncing, that's fine. Just concentrate on those lunges. But keeping the chest up and facing forward, dropping down. are still tired from Tuesday. Work Off we go, push seconds. the small of the back into the floor and lift using your abdominals to lift your legs up. Hip raises. So going upwards, not towards you as such. Not quite like the reverse crunch. Keep going. Seconds. Ten seconds until rest. Last few seconds. And rest, rest that one. Ten seconds. Come over for ten your high plank. Whew. Get ready. Work for 50 right, seconds. Off we go. So keep that body forward. Keep that body as stationary as possible as you tap up. So really pulling in the core muscles. You don't want this. You want this. Take your feet shoulder width or wider if it helps. Shoulder width, hip width or wider. Keep going. Seconds. Keep going, almost there. And rest. Come up. And into high knees. No worries, Claire. I'll read your comment fully afterwards. No worries. That's it. Nice bounce. My head's getting long on top. Nice deep breaths. Keep going. Get those knees up. Nice soft landing. Come on, come back. Get your hands there. That's it. Keep going. Ten seconds. And rest. rest for 10 seconds. <sighs> 10 nice deep breaths. Halfway. So get ready with the bicep extension. Arms up. And seconds. off we go. So keep the belly button pulled into the spine. 
soft knees, shoulder width apart, feet. Hang oh, I'm not twisting it as I go out. Keep going, keep breathing. So many instructions. <laughs> Almost there. Halfway there. Keep going. That's it. So keeping the elbows in line with the shoulders. Ten seconds until rest. Last few seconds. And rest. rest Shake the arms out. Try switch rest. lunges. Here we go. I'm going to try the other way first. Might throw yeah, myself. One, two, three. Good. Keep going. Keep going. Keep breathing. That's it. Almost there. Needs be, take it to just the lunge if that's what you need to do. As long as you're still challenging yourself, it's good. Better than stopping completely. And rest. Morning, Jonathan. Coming down to the floor, small at the back, into the floor. And raising the hips. Nice deep breaths. Nice and controlled. Using the abdominals to lift up and lower back down. Nice and controlled. Keep going. Halfway there. Until rest. Keep the belly button, belly button pulled to the spine. Rest for ten seconds. And rest, come over until into your high plank. Again, you can always do this from your knees if you need to. Work for 50 seconds. And always take your feet slightly wider to help with the balance. Stay forward on your arms. And keep the bum down, belly, belly button in. It's not easy, but it's worth it. Keep going. Seconds. And rest. rest ten Come seconds. Up. Ten seconds and, and high knees. And off we go. Nice deep breath. Keep going. Tough one today, but it's worth it. Nice soft landing. Not too much impact through those knees. Keep the knees coming up. Almost there. That's it. Keep going. Five seconds and rest. rest Last round. Last time through, guys. Almost there. Whew. There's five minutes left. Off we go. Seconds. Bicep extension. 
Ah dear, try and get all my arm in the picture. Perils of long arms. Keep going. Keep the core engaged. Pull the belly button in. Keep going. Ten seconds. Ten seconds until rest. That's it. Almost done. And rest. Oh, shake that one out. Try switch lunges for the last time. Maybe try a few of the jumps if you can. Get ready. One, two, and three. It's the last time. Even if you take it really slowly, just think it through. It's a coordination thing as well. It takes a while for your brain to get used to what you're trying to make it do. Keep going, keep breathing. It's the last time you do these today. And rest. So we're down on the floor, hip raises for the last time. Engage and lift. I think this is the one I found the toughest today. My abdominals are tired. Breathe it through, lift up. Keep going. Making everything stronger. Lifting those hips. Ten seconds. Close enough. Until rest. <sighs> rest up. Into the plank. Last shoulder taps. <sighs> On the home straight. Work Off we go. So keep that bum down. Pull the belly button in. Wrists over sho shoulders over wrists. Keeping that body forward. If you need to go from your knees, please do. Just keep everything strong. Keep going. Good work. It's a tough one. Try and keep that body stationary as possible as you tap your shoulders. Keep going. Almost done. Ten seconds. Five. And rest. Come up. Last set of high knees. Oh. Good work, guys. Get ready. And off we go. Last one. This is it. Just keep moving. Breathe it through. Good work. That's it. Keep those knees coming up. Landing softly. Keep going. Getting good. Ten seconds. And rest that there. So walk it off. Just walk around for a few seconds. Let the heart rate come back down a little bit. Don't want the blood blood pooling in the legs. Let 
me know what you enjoyed, what you found difficult. If you've got any sweaty workout selfies, feel free to tag me or become fit for life or put the hashtag feel good movement. Um, as long as you don't mind me sharing them to my stories. So coming down. If you feel ready and bring our knees to our chest. So bringing your knees in and rotate in one direction and rotate in the other. Whew. That was good. Definitely feel a bit more awake now. <laughs> Come round and back the other way. Whew. Keep going. Last few seconds. Not an easy workout, so well done. I really do hope you've used alternatives if you've needed to, just to keep yourself moving. Let one leg drop down, raise the other into the air. If you've got any concerns about any of the uh, workouts, but any of the exercises, any of the form, please do let me know. I can, I will help you the best I can. So leg up straight, or as straight as you can have it. If you can't get your leg very straight, that's fine. You might have tight hamstrings. Just pull it towards you. If you have a yoga strap or resistance band, you can always put that over your foot to pull it towards you a bit more. <sighs> nice deep breaths. And let that relax, switch sides. And you could always ask someone in your family to push your leg a little bit as well. Just make sure you haven't annoyed them in any way. <sighs> a few more seconds. Always move your ankle, feel the depth of the stretch. And if you feel the stretch ease off, let your leg go and then just pull it towards you a little bit more. Keep going, last few seconds. And let that relax, you stay there. I'm just gonna spin around so you can see more closely or clearly what I'm doing. So bring one ankle over onto the opposite knee. You're going to reach through your lap and pull your knee towards you. So that's stretching out the glute. For me, that would be my left glute. So that's the leg that I've got in front is my left leg. So keep going. If you, if you can or want to, you can always use your hand to push your knee out that little bit further. Or you can use your elbow. Whatever works for you. Keep going. Last few seconds. And switch sides. Bring it in. So you may find one side slightly tighter than the other. That's perfectly normal. And just keep stretching. Foam roll, use foam rollers if you can. There's some good videos on YouTube. Show you the best way to do that. Keep breathing. Last few seconds. And let that relax, come over onto all fours. So knees are in line with your hips, wrists are in line with your shoulders. So drop the back down, arch, uh, lift the head up, breathe in. And as you breathe out, arch the back up, drop the head. You do this at your own pace. to a neutral tabletop position bring your big toes together behind you sit back on your heels your knees can be hip width or further apart whatever is more comfortable for you and by and keeping your bum on your heels walk your hands forward or keep them back as best you can drop your forehead to the floor and stretch out the upper back and shoulders it's also a good stretch for the ankles pulling the hands away pulling the bum back Keep going, last few seconds. And let the relax, come up to all fours. Bring your feet underneath you. Roll up through your spine slowly. Come over 
to a wall. All right, no worries, Jim. Yeah, coordination's always fun with the tricep lunges. Try switch, tricep, try switch lunges. So bring your foot to the wall and then push up on your back foot, stretching it through. Yeah, I think I need a break just for a couple of days. I'll be back raring to go on Tuesday. But I do have one more session today if anyone wants to join at 11, uh, 11, at uh, 12.30. <laughs> no idea why I said 11, 12.30 today. Spin it through a few more seconds. And switch sides. And push up. So feeling that stretch in your calf muscle. Everything's facing forward, pulling up on the wall. Pushing through into that calf. Hold it there a few more seconds. Breathe it through. Almost there. And let that relax and bring one foot sorry more people have just arrived for the building up the garage but i didn't knock just gone straight through into the garden but you know it's fine bring one foot up to your bum knees knees in line push your foot into your hand and you should feel the stretch down the front of the thigh which is the quads push the foot into your hand stretching it through Keep breathing. A few more seconds. And switch sides. Bring it up, knees together. Hi, Matthew. Stretch it through. So a nice, good stretch. If you need to hold on, that's absolutely fine. It's not gonna affect the stretch, but if you can also balance. Oh, mine's going there. That's what happens when you look away. A few more, a few more seconds. And let that relax come up into a nice full body stretch. Lean to one side. Stretching it through. Come back up, lean to the other side. And again, lean to one side. Back up and lean to the other side. One more time on each side. Come up and lean to the other side. And come to that middle. Drop one arm between the shoulder blades, chin off the chest, head up. Stretching it through. So uh, yeah, I'm back again at 12.30 today and that will be the last workout for the week. And I will then be back on Tuesday, 8 a.m. So I'm taking Monday, sorry, Friday and Monday off. <sighs> Not having to set my alarm. <laughs> Not having to be awake at somewhere between 4 and 6 a.m. Will be nice. Just for a few days. And switch sides. <sighs> Keep going. Stretching it through. Just two more stretches after this. Nice deep breaths. And bring one arm across your body. So we're going to stretch out the shoulder. Lean into that, twist into the shoulder, pull the arm across. So you're not, don't squash your elbow, just pulling in into the shoulder. So above or below the elbow. Just stretching it out. A few more seconds. And switch sides. So 
so I'm, I'm intrigued as to what's going on in my garden. I do apologise. <laughs> Slightly distracted then. A few more seconds. We're almost there, guys. 16 seconds. Last stretch. Breathe it through heart rate and breathing. Should be feeling more normally here now. Whew. And let that relax. Roll your shoulders back and forward and well done guys thank you for joining me this morning <laughs> don't worry michelle it happens to all of us trust me you know i think i'm fit and today's the, today's workout really pushed me so it could be could be the weather could be hormones could be nutrition lack of sleep could be many many things that made it more difficult so don't worry there affects all of us um hopefully some of you will join me at 12 30 today if not i will see you again on Tuesday at 8am. Have a lovely weekend, guys.